So just, uh, I was checking the news and I saw this uh, article here that was just popped up, uh, breaking DJI Mini 5 Pro product image and key features leaked, leaked, leaked. It just got leaked out. Um, we are seeing the first visuals, I guess, from the box, from the product itself of the Mini 5 Pro by DJI, which means if we're seeing this by now, we are looking at a maybe August, late August, September launch. And we could see off, off the bat, we could see uh, the, oh, where's my page? Why is this page flipped? Hold on. There we go. Um, we could see the, uh, the new design. It's a little bit more beefy, more sharper. Still the same body. Uh, what else? It looks like... I think the propellers are no longer screw-ins. Um, there's a clip uh so it's kind of like a clip and lock like the mavic hmm so there you go there's the here's the new mini 5 um the talk in the town was the uh the sky rover x1 which is the identical uh clone to the mini 4 currently and, and now we have a, a visualization of the Mini 5 Pro. And let's see what it, what it has based on these uh, leaks. Here's, here's an, another view of... It's all kind of like blurred shift. It looks like... Uh, is that a new remote control? No, I think it's the same one. It looks different, but it might be because it's, um, it's got that blurriness to it. it looks beefier. Um, anyways, here are seven DJI Mini 5 Pro key features. You can see them on the screen. Uh, first off, it's an ultra light and foldable. Nothing new. It's got the one inch image sensor up to 4K 120 frames per second video recording. That's great. True vertical shooting and 225 degree gimbal rotation for more flexible camera movements. Interesting. High quality 48 millimeter mid tele mode. Here's the, um, I guess the new, the new thing for the mini, which is uh, some sort of tele lens, a zoom option which uh, the Mini didn't have before, or, you know, it, they're trying to get more of their uh, family drones, like the Mini now, with more tele, uh, telescopic, uh, or tele-lens, tele um, a zoom, a, an optical zoom lens to get more closer to the action so it's becoming like a thing for throughout all the dji drones and now the mini is uh bringing in the 48 millimeter mid tele mode lens uh, option nightscape omnidirectional obstacle sensing with forward facing lidar so here's the lidar option um active track for running cycling and more and a whopping 36 minute flight time battery which is great uh, we are, I think we're seeing, um, we're staying with the 04 transmission system. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't put the, because I know the Mavic 4 has the 04 plus transmission system. I'm surprised they didn't introduce the 04 plus for the mini and they're just keeping, I guess, the 04, but we're, we're going to have to see. Um, 
Here's another uh, box graphic of the Mini 5 Pro. So yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if it's real or not. It looks real. Um, it's the, uh, you know, it's allegedly the, uh, the mini five box. Let me see if there's anything. So it's still with the 249 gram ultra light and foldable. So And based on this article, it looks like it's going to be around September 2025. So that's the, that's what I was saying in the beginning, maybe late August to early September 2025 for the Mini uh, 5 Pro. Uh, like I said, right now, the talk of the town is the Sky Rover X1, which is a clone to the Mini 4 Pro. And... Now we're seeing the first alleged image, imagery visuals product key features of the Mini 5 Pro, which is about to be released this year, late August, maybe early September 2025, as DJI continues to release more and more products. Now, the question is... Uh, still in a lot of the North American, specifically the United States market, if this will be available in the United States for purchase. I, I highly doubt it from the current situations. And uh, there are some kind of rumors that by September, uh, there was going to be some kind of... Um, Some kind of, I don't know, open door uh, to bring it to bring these products back. But at the moment, um, as we've been seeing throughout the entire DJI.com official store, um, everything in the U.S. has been completely out of stock. And um, every time there's a new product to uh, release or about to be released, like the latest Insta360. We haven't seen um, anything available for purchase, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not going to assume that this thing, this Mini Five, is going to be also available for purchase in the United States with the continuing out of stock uh, chaos that's happening. So, again, um, the allegedly Mini Five Pro from DJI with. Um, a 48 millimeter telemoto lens, 36 minute battery life, omnidirectional sensing with LiDAR, Nightscape, active tracked, 4K 20, 120 frames per second, ultra light and foldable as the Mini 4 continues to uh, step it up. And now I'm really wondering if it's entering the the Air 3S category and how the Air 3S and the Mini 5 Pro are going to crash into each other in regards to, you know, I, I, the, the Air, the Air 3S from what I've seen is a lot more, uh, it feels better. It looks better. The, the, the actual drone looks better. The mini theories of the drones specifically this one this kind of body i never I personally never liked and i've seen the mini 4 and it felt a little flimsy um perhaps this time around they they are gonna make the drone body a little bit more uh, i would say you know feel stronger you know and, and as far as the, the plastic is concerned because it was just very thin in my opinion, I think it was, it was, I thought it was very thin. Um, the three and the four. Um, I was always a, a fan of the two, but obviously the two has completely been, 
completely discontinued based on the all the stuff that you know the, the four and the five now has so i i wouldn't uh, recommend that but i was always a big fan of the two's design uh, obviously the five the four and the five have more uh have the obstacle avoidance which the two didn't have and as more and more technology is brought to these drones and you can see the sensors and the lidar and all that stuff it continues to improve and you can see the propellers i can see now it's the switch it's the clip and switch uh clip and lock like the um the mavic 4. so interesting stuff um just uh just saw it today and uh let me know what you guys think.